Welcome to the video. Today we're walking through Flick. So Flick is one of the best hashtag research tools when it comes to Instagram, but they also have a ton of other tools built into their product that makes running your Instagram accounts way easier, as well as growing them with the right data that you need to make better decisions. So in this video, we're gonna walk through all of the different tools so you can make the right decision as to if this is a good choice for you and if you wanna try them out for yourself. And if at any point you do wanna try Flick out for yourself, there is a link to a free seven day trial in the pinned comment of this video, as well as the description. So let's get right into it. All right, so this is what you'll see when you go to flick.tech. So if you use that link, it'll bring you over to here and this is what you'll see. So I'm gonna sign into my account so you can actually see where the magic happens within Flick. So I'll sign in here and I've already connected this to my Instagram account, which is something that you will have to do. But once you do, you'll start to see all of this information right here. So at a glance, when you log in as your homepage, you're gonna see your recently ranked on hashtags, which is pretty evident. It'll be the tags that you've ranked on. There's also your top performing hashtags. So of all the hashtags that you've used, they'll tell you which ones are bringing you the best results and then just hashtags used overall. And then below here, you're gonna see your collections. One of the best things about Flick is your ability to save and store hashtags in particular collections for easy plug and play use later. And with some of the new features they've added as of late, it makes this even more powerful and, and more awesome. But we'll get to that in a minute. What Flick really started out as was a dedicated hashtag research tool and they've built a ton from there. But I figured that's the best place to start for this video. So to, to use their tool, all you have to do is come up to the search bar right here. And let's say you're a social media strategist like me. You'd start by typing in a keyword, which is gonna help you find information about that specific hashtag, okay? So let's say we're looking up hashtag social media strategy. We just type that in here. And then once you type that in, it gives you a ton of different information, which can help you see if you should use the tag or not. So within here, it auto populates the hashtag that you search for, but it also populates a ton of relevant hashtags that are associated to the keyword that you you search for. So it helps you save a ton of time here. And they also give you a ton of information. So as you can see right here, you can look at it from a table view or a grouped view. I much prefer the table view, but teach their own. But I like the view that you get right here where it shows you your competition score, which is one is high, but as well as the potential reach. So if you were to rank for this hashtag, what kind of performance could you expect? And then some very important numbers to consider as well, which is the daily average post count, the average likes and the total posts. So the daily average post count is how many posts are being posted with this hashtag attached to it. The average likes is how many likes the average post that is ranking is receiving. And then total post is how many posts have used this hashtag overall. So all very important things to know. And then once you're coming through and you're putting your group of tags together for your specific post or the specific kind of post that you're putting out on Instagram, you can just tap this little box right here and then it selects the hashtag. So let's just say we want to do a bunch more. Let's say we're an Instagram marketer entrepreneurship, let's say that's related to the post. And it's very important here when you're going through and doing this, that the relevancy is super critical for, for hashtags when you're using it on Instagram. Without it being relevant, you're not gonna get the results that you want. So this helps you find relevant hashtags far faster. So let's say we wanna do some more. So all you have to do to, to type in another hashtag is just go use the search bar again. Let's say we're doing Instagram marketing now. Obviously use the search terms that make sense for you. But, so we can come in here and then there's more associated terms. So let's do some more creative marketing, business strategy. And again, you can see all these different results. You should try to get a mix of low, medium and high competition. But luckily as of late, Instagram did just do an update, which means that it's more possible for smaller accounts to even rank on high competition tags because they're prioritizing recent content. So I would skew a little bit more to the more competitive ones because they have more potential reach, but it is good to mix in some small and some medium tags just to get some momentum for your post. So as we're going through and putting a group together, I recommend putting 30 together for each post. You're then gonna have your selected tags right here. For the sake of this video and for speed, let's just show you what this looks like. So since we've selected nine, they've all been selected as you can see. And from here, you can do a few different things. You can save to a collection, like I showed you earlier. So you could click this and then you could either add to an existing collection or you can make a total new one, which is great to have for future use later. Or what you can do is you can copy the clipboard. So if you just want to copy it and paste it right away, you could do that. Or what's really, really cool, you can audit your selection. So with this, it's gonna break down everything. So it's gonna show you all the different tags that you're using. And so when it says it's looking good, it's because none of them are banned or flagged. So a lot of people don't know this, but there is such a thing as a banned or a flagged hashtag and using it on your account can actually be bad for your account and the reach that your post receives. So you wanna avoid those at all costs. And Flick actually has a built-in screening tool to make sure you're not using any. So this will also show you that you should use more hashtags, obviously, and we're all good avoiding all the banned hashtags and then all hashtags look suitable for my account. So that's another great thing about this tool as well is the fact that you can put on filters. So you can refine your search results by clicking this and you can put on smart filters, 
which what that does is it actually looks at your typical engagement on your account that you've attached to it. And then it will suggest tags that you're likely to actually perform in, which is a great tool to save you a ton of time. Or you can create presets for specific numbers and metrics to if, if those are really important to you and you really wanna find specific numbers, they give you the tools to do that. And an awesome thing about Flick too is you can connect multiple accounts to this. So say you're a social media manager or you run multiple different accounts, you can still do research within one place and have those smart filters, or you could just use one account, whatever makes the most sense for you. So that was the hashtag research tool, which was Flick's bread and butter. But like I said before, they have released a ton more tools into their product that makes Instagram marketing and social media marketing that much easier. So I'm gonna walk through some of those right now. And one of those tools is the viral posts finder. So if you were to come in here, you can then search much like you did to find hashtags, but this will actually populate with posts that are performing well within the hashtags that you're really trying to target. So this is a great place to come in and see what your competition really looks like and maybe even use it as inspiration for future content that is more likely to work because it's proven to have done so. Then below that, we have collections, which we've already walked through a few different times. But what I love about this is the fact that they actually do have smart collections as well. So once you start using hashtags enough, Flick will constantly be collecting data on the performance of those tags and it'll actually make recommendations for your specific account and the performance that they've seen. So this is a great way to actually make things faster and only be using the tags that are working and not the ones that aren't. I've been slacking on my posting on Instagram, so there's not a ton of data here, but the more that you post, the more that you use Flick, the more they're going to have positive data to give you better decisions faster. And things like your top performing post is really important to know. And they'll even show you very specific numbers like the times you've ranked in that post, the rank ratio, as well as the average post rank as well. So these are all really, really important things to know. So you can actually see from a numbers perspective, exactly which tags are bringing you what, which was previously impossible anywhere else. So definitely love collections. It is a huge feature for Flick. And then I love the smart filters as well. It makes finding the right tags that much easier. Then we're gonna hop into analytics. And this is another place where Flick absolutely shines. So Instagram in the app gives you a ton of different analytics and data to help you make better decisions, but it's very clunky and it's hard to navigate through their insights. That's where Flick comes in and makes this so much easier. So you can come in and see all the numbers that you could possibly want in a very simple interface. So you can come right here and see an overview. You can change the filter of how long the time range is and what the numbers you're seeing. You can compare it to similar accounts or last time period, which is really, really cool. And it gives you so much more. So you can see a breakdown of your content and the performance. So you can come in right here and see how your feed posts are doing, your story posts, your IGTV, or just, just Instagram video. And you can actually see all of these different numbers. And so how it works down here is the fact that like if you see something that is more of a dark blue, that means it's doing better than normal. And then as the, the number gets lighter and lighter, that's less of a high performance for your specific account. So it really gives a great way to see what kind of content is doing well, because you can scroll through this and see it at a glance, which is really, really awesome. Then you can also come in and see your hashtag performance. And this is obviously a huge feature within Flick, but you can see everything that you've done when it comes to hashtags. So you can see the number of hashtags that you've used, your rank ratio, time spent ranking, your average rank as well. And you can see a ton of these numbers right here for ranking positioning, which is awesome. And you can again see your top performance, your mid-level performers, and your low performers. And then too early to tell. So like I said, the more that you use Flick, and the more that you're using hashtags on your account, the more data you're going to provide Flick to then make better decisions for you or help you make better decisions. So that's important to note. I haven't used these enough to actually get quantifiable data. So that's important no. Then if we go over to account, it's going to show you a breakdown of your entire account, which is really cool. So your total followers number, your reach rate, your conversion rate, your click through rate, all super important numbers to know, as well as the best times to post for your account on any given day, which is really powerful to know to make sure you're posting when it is the most likely to be successful. And then a breakdown of your followers and where they are in the world, which is also really important and helpful to know. And they make it super easy to find. So you can see a breakdown of where everyone is, which can help you make sure you're posting at the right time and you're speaking the right language, both literally and metaphorically. And you can even see the top cities, the top languages, all of this good stuff and an age and gender, which all helps you make better decisions for your account. And then we're gonna hop over to reports. And this is really cool. This is an awesome feature built into Flick so that you can get a weekly report on how your account is performing. And so this is awesome just to get a quick glance sent to your email inbox. You can either turn this on or turn it off up to you, but it is a great way to get a super quick, something that you can read in a minute and you can really get a feel for how your account is performing overall, which is something I love and I, yeah, every week. So now we're going to move on to something that is probably my most favorite addition to Flick, and that's their new scheduling tool. So in addition to all these growth focused tools and the tools really focus on giving you the best decisions possible, they have now released a scheduling tool, which I think is one of the best in the game, if not the best, because of how focused they were on making it simple and easy. So within the scheduling tool, you have your own media library and you'll have a media library per account that you've attached 
to Flick. So let's say, again, if you're a social media manager and say you manage multiple different accounts, you don't ever have to worry about posting to the wrong account because when you're on the account you're trying to post to at that time, you're only gonna see that media library. So there's not gonna be a mixed jumble of content, which is really, really helpful. So you don't have to have, you don't ever have to have a nightmare moment where you posted the wrong post on the wrong account. So to do this is really easy. Just come in here and upload all the content that you're trying to post. You can do videos as well as photos. And then in here, you can go and schedule out content. And again, because Flix is really all about efficiency, they even recommend the best times to post for your account. So you can just come in here, click this, and start doing the whole process to post. So right here, we're posting on my main account. I can just add from my media library or I can directly upload files. So let's just add from my media library. So let's pick a quote right here. And then it gives you a nice little feed preview right here of what it would look like. And then you can see exactly what it would look like. You can add the location tags. You can type out your captions in bulk, which is a great way to really have a consistent brand voice. And you have full access to different bolding features as well as emojis because emojis are awesome, obviously. And you can tag a location and you can even attach a first comment to the post to automatically go, go live when you do post it. So for example, if you wanted to put your hashtags in here, you can easily do that. And so you can add your hashtags right here and add right from your collections, which is awesome. So say if I just wanted to add my growth quote ones, I can come and click this, select all, and then come over here to click insert select. And then you see that they've been all, all been added, which is really awesome. And then if you wanna get rid of those, you can just obviously delete them like that. And you also have the option to do this within the first comment as well. So if you'd rather have your hashtag down there, you can make that automatically happen for you just by coming to first comment and by doing the exact same thing. So you can either do it manually or you can save so much time by just accessing all of the ones from your collections and then inserting them here. Then after you've done that, you have a few different options here. So you can choose the posting time. So you, they do recommend times that are best for your account when most of your followers are active, but you can make it a totally custom time if that's what you want. Just come in here and change this time to whatever you want. And then you have two options when it comes to actually making this post live. You can make it auto publish for you, which is my preferred method, so I don't have to think about it. Or you can make Flick send you notifications so that you manually make the posts go live. Choice is up to you, totally your call. And then finally, once you're done all of those different steps to optimizing a post, you can click save draft if you wanna come back to this later. And, and why you may wanna use that is say you don't have the actual content yet, but maybe you wanna come in here and write a bunch of captions ahead of time. You can come in and just do that steps and add all the hashtags beforehand and then come back later and add the content once it's been created. So there's a ton of different ways to really make your whole process far more efficient. And that's why you maybe wanna save draft. Or you can actually schedule it out and then it will go live at the appropriate time using the method that you decided to, to use for that post. Another thing I wanna highlight right here is the fact that there are more social accounts coming to this. Currently, it's only Instagram, but very, very quickly and soon, there will be access to Facebook and TikTok. So by the time you're watching this, there's a good chance that there'll be Facebook and then likely even TikTok, which is amazing. So you can go through and do all of these different optimization pieces and schedule out all of your content for all of your different channels within one place. And Flick really tried to focus on making this as easy and simple as possible. So for all different platforms on one place, I'm really, really excited for that. I can't wait. So we'll go back and walk through some more and you can see them here as well. It's, it's grayed out. So there's Facebook, TikTok coming very soon, which I'm really excited about. So within your scheduling as well, you can schedule out months in advance if you'd want to. So you can look at it weekly or monthly, it just changes how you're doing everything and, and how you're scheduling. And it's really simple to use. If you go to the date, you can click this and start the whole process, go back. And you can even go through feed preview as well. So this is a visual to show you what the content you're scheduling would actually look like with using the content that you're posting and scheduling out, which is a really, really cool way to just to visualize it because a lot of people are very concerned with the overall aesthetic of their feed. So you could actually come in and see that right here. So that's our scheduler in a nutshell. It's very, very simple, very easy to use and something I strongly recommend using so you actually stay ahead and consistent with your posting, which is massive when it comes to growing. And the last thing I'm gonna walk through when it comes to Flick itself is the training and tips section. So this is an awesome feature to Flick and it's a ton of resources that are exclusive to Flick users as well as some to the general public that allow you to really use Instagram far better as well as the tools that Flick has to offer. So there's tons of different guides and courses within here and a ton of resources that you can see within here and their, and their blog is fantastic as well. And once again, there is a link to a free trial if you wanna try any of this out. The trial is completely free for seven days and you can access that through the link in the description as well as the pinned comment. Full disclosure, I am an affiliate for Flick but I only talk about tools that I actually believe in and this is is definitely one of those. So if you go ahead and use that link, I may earn a small commission at no extra expense to you and it helps support the channel to make more videos like this. So thank you in advance for doing that and let me know how you like Flick once you've tried it out. And you can try out everything we walked through using that link down below, so go ahead and do that. And if you're into finding the best online tools to help you grow your brand and your business, this is a channel to help you do that. That is all we do. We walk through the best tools online to help you grow your brand and your business. So be sure to subscribe so you never miss a video that can help you bring your business to the next level. And currently to use any scheduler on Instagram, 
your account has to be a business account. So we made an entirely dedicated video about how to set up an Instagram business account and that's linked right here. So go ahead and watch that to set everything up for yourself and get your business and brand growing. I'll see you over there. Peace.